Yo, I didn't even know it was 12.30. I just finished an install. Check this out. As soon as I get closer to the proximity of the car. Yes. Freaking puddle lights, dude. Shit is freaking dope. Got them on both sides. They're JDM puddle lights. But they're, you know, they're a little bit in-depth to install. But it's freaking awesome. Check this out. Yo. Dope. What up fam? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. So I got another quick video for you today. Reason why I'm out here, the car's in there, is because it is freaking about to rain. It literally was sunny like 30 minutes ago and then boom. So I'm gonna just do this intro real quick out here and then we're gonna head into the garage. So today what I will be doing for you guys is the Subi Speed Huddle Lights. These things are dope. They cost around like 85 bucks, but I had to have it because it's such a freaking dope addition. Like, especially like when you walk close to your car with your keys in your pocket and those courtesy lights just come on, that shit is fly. But now the good thing about it too, the outside is gonna light up on the ground where you're walking because of these lights right here. So in the box, they give you, this should be your driver's side. The passenger side is pretty long. They give you a wire. They even give you an adder fuse. By the way, guys, they also did a video on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be showing you how to do it and also explain things that they did not explain. So just bear with me. You got your puddle lights, things that you're going to need, taps, a tester, some pliers, anything else we need. I'm going to tackle that in the video. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're in the garage. Now, additionally, what we're going to need is a socket extension, a 10 mil socket with an extension, a Phillips head screwdriver, and what we're gonna need to do, also you're gonna need a trim removal tool. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna pry this out. Take this out like so, put it aside. This Phillips head right here, take that out, put it somewhere safe because once that Phillips head comes out, this whole piece can be pulled forward, okay? Also, we're gonna be needing to take out this door card right here. With the door card, you have a Phillips head right here and a phillips head screw also in here you just gotta pry these little pieces up right here these little plastic pieces you'll find the phillips screws in there take them out now once you take those out then you can reach under here squeeze and pull i'll place videos up top i have videos with that as well also we'll need to take out the mirror covers mines can come out easily you put a tool just face it like this Put a trim removal tool in here. You take out the bottom first, then the top. Bottom first. Then the top. Thing just flew out. Now, once you take that out, you push this to, you push this up like so. Push your mirror up. Once you push it up, the bottom piece unhinges and then you just unhinge the top just like so now once you're done with that unhook the mirror and then we take out this three 10 mil bolts in here once you get the door card out, card out I'll show you so once you get out the door card I'm going to show you there's three 10 mil bolts in there we take it out because we need to hang this whole mirror assembly down all right. all right guys so once you take out the door card my door card is very easy to pop out because i've popped it out so many times once you take it out you take out the three 10 mil bolts there's one here and two on this side once you take that out the mirror hangs over like that guys look what i did just tape something over there so you're not scratching anything scratching your paint okay now with this door card here there's two harnesses a small one and a big one Guys, the big one, for some reason, some ridiculous reason, Subaru put the clip for the bigger one, the release clip, on the inside. So anybody with big hands, it's a freaking problem to get it out. The only way I can get it out is if I pulled out this entire switch right here, then I'll be able to get it out. I'm not doing that. What I did was I just unhooked the cables for the door handle and the lock. So now, I can maneuver this a little bit better and that's all I'm gonna do you guys can do it however you want so now let's get to this part right here 
which is the mirror. Now, with this mirror, see how this is like this? This rubber grommet, what you're gonna do, you're gonna take it out. Now, once you take it out, it just peels off. Just pull it off, nothing crazy. Now, so now once you pull it off, you expose the wires inside. This white wire here, I had routed for my Subi Bros sequential LED and turn signals. So now, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take a zip tie. Very, very simple. You're gonna see me attach it the zip tie, okay, to one end of the set of wires, and I'm gonna run it through the grommet, all right? All right, guys, so you see how easy it was? Just take the zip tie, you run it through. This is gonna go inside. Just leave enough give over here. Just leave enough so once everything plugs in, you can pull the wire as much as you want. You get what I'm saying? Now, while this is hanging right here, this is a good time. This Phillips head screw right here, it's a good time to take this out. This is where your puddle light is gonna go. So let's take that. All right, guys, also added note, when you take that piece off of the bottom of the mirror, it's gonna have an L right here, stands for left side. So in the bag with the new puddle lights, there's gonna be an L right here above where the switch plugs into, okay? Also, if you match it up, you'll see they're like the same shape. So left and left, just use the same screw Attach it back in and let's plug it up. All right, guys, so it's screwed in. Oh, food for thought, make sure you plug the connector in first before you screw this in. So make sure, run the red and black wire behind this white piece, right here, behind the white piece, extend it down, hook it up first on the outside, and then screw it in. Very simple. All right, guys, so once you finish connecting everything up here, you can pretty much set the mirror back up put the rubber grommet back bolt everything up one two three bolts you run the wire right here now i'm going to show you guys how this is going to get very very easy for me because i have <clears throat> other lines that are actually running to the fuse that subi speed is going to show you so let me just the hell is the damn thing? Let me just take the screw off here real quick. I'm going to show you what I mean. So as I said, once you get the screw off, this entire face plate, you're going to see it, where all your mirror sensors are and your trunk release button. Once you unscrew that, watch this. You just hold right here. Remember, you got to pull that piece off right here first, as you saw me do. Hold right here. And this just nice little tug, nothing crazy. Now, guys, obviously mine, I have a lot of stuff going on, on here. Gauges, you name it. I got tons of stuff going on. Uh, remote start for my car, the whole nine. So, what you can do, you can just unclip these right here. This piece is gonna hang down. Now, um, let me see right here this fuse subi speed taps into this fuse right here this blue one let me see if i can prop this light okay perfect too bright so my finger is touching that blue one right there light is still too bright okay so subi speed shows you how to tap into this fuse right here that is for the seat heater. Now that's a blue fuse. Most of the blue fuses, like this one, this one, and this one, they're usually permanent connections. A permanent connection, guys, is a connection that has power to it when the car is off. So in essence, what Subi Speed did was they ran the power wire or the red wire onto their adder fuse tapped in there 
and the black wire they are I have to open up this right here there is a see in there that gray connector right there in the body integrated unit they call it the BIU there's a wire in there that we tap the negative wire into and what that does is that wire does have power to it so what happens is when that power goes or when it fades the, there's no more ground so what ends up happening is that's how they got the lights to work so what happens is this red wire is going to have constant power to it and the ground is attaching to that wire right here which is connected to your inside like your dome lights and your map lights like when you walk close to your car Another way, uh, another hard way if you wanted to do it, the same thing is where you take your ground wire, connected it to a ground on the body of the car, and now you can route this red wire all the way up the A-pillar to the middle up top up there, and there's a cluster of wires that run into where the map lights are, and if you tap in there, it'll give you the same effect. So it's pretty much the same thing more or less. Do you get what I'm saying? So I will test the wires and I will show you what they're talking about with this seat heater fuse right here. Now guys, all you do is you attach your ground, you take your tester, attach it to a good source right here. This is pure metal on the car right here. I pulled out the fuse, let me get my light. Okay, so I pulled out the fuse for the the adder fuse it's right here I pulled it out for the seat heater and watch this I'm gonna tap put the tester in the bottom first you there's two prongs in there you try the top one first oh it lit up see it my car is off right now so there's two prongs you always test both so power is coming from the top and that's what I'm saying this is a permanent connection so what's happening is I already have a wire running from, I already have this wire right here. I already have a wire running from this adder fuse down to the bottom. All I'm gonna do is tap my red wire into that. What you guys are gonna do is take the new adder fuse that they give you and do exactly like you see in the video. You take their new adder fuse, take their adder fuse, you connect it in there, you connect it in that slot. So the seat heater fuse is gonna go to the bottom and your new fuse is gonna go to the top. Okay, so this is the adder fuse Subi Speed gives you. It has a five amp fuse on it. Now, if you notice, the fuse is to the bottom, okay? That's in the wrong place because that seat heater fuse, if you notice right here, that seat heater fuse, it is a, can't see it, but it's a 15 amp right here. It's a 15 amp fuse. Damn it, focus. Anyway, it's a 15 amp fuse. So the thing is, the fuse that you, or the slot that you're tapping into, when you pull that 15 amp fuse out, you have to put it to the bottom, and this five amp fuse goes to the top. And obviously, this line is going to the two positive or red lines from the puddle lights that Sui Speed gave you. Okay, so just pay attention to that. Otherwise, you're gonna freaking blow out your fuses. So this five amp fuse goes to the top. The one that you take out from the slot originally from here, that goes to the bottom, because that's the one you're tapping into, okay? All right, guys, so I went ahead, disconnected all the stuff, guys. Remember, if you don't have a good memory, please take a picture so you know where everything goes back on these connectors right here. Now, that is the gray cluster right here. You don't even need to really take it out. Um, there's a pink wire with a blue stripe. See it right here. I pulled it out for you. Boom, that's what you tap in the black wire to, as per them. And now with me, see that red wire right here running through the door? Running where the door is? See, that's how I told you this is gonna be very, very easy for me. Why? Because I already have something hooked up to that heat, uh, seat heater fuse, okay? So all I gotta do is tap that red wire into the other one, tap the black 
into that pink with the blue stripe. Now guys, you can run the stuff like me. See how I ran it underneath the rubber grommet? Because at the time I didn't have a zip tie and it was a pain in the ass. Also, it's raining outside. I don't have a lot of space to work with, as you can see. So I can't even extend the door fully. Look, there's no space in there. So I'm gonna run it in the back of that rubber hose. So I'm gonna run it in the back of that rubber hose and tap into right there. Tap into that red wire. And that's really it. And then once, I'm, once you're done, guys, you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now, for the guys, obviously I don't have to do that because I could tap into the red wire on that side as well. The only thing is I'm gonna be running both black wires right here, joining them up and tapping just into this one location. So I'm, and now what you can do also is join both red wires and then what you're gonna be doing is you're joining both red wires and putting it into this fuse right here, squeezing it with a pliers or some wire, no, well, not the wire cutter portion, but you're gonna crimp it and that's what you're gonna be plugging into your adder fuse, if you get what I'm saying. So you're gonna be joining both red wires, you crimp this right here, that's gonna be into your seat heater fuse and both black wires, you're gonna join it and tap it into the pink wire with the blue stripe, all right? All right, guys, so I put the mirror back together. Just want to show you this real quick. I'm holding the plunge. I'm going to release it. Bam. So it works. Let me show you what I did on the inside. Oh, limited space. Stinks. But it's all good. So let me show you real quick. So what I did was, as I said, I tapped into, where is my flashlight? All right. So I tapped into that wire right there. That's the pink with the blue stripe, the purplish pink with the blue stripe. And what I did was I connected both negative wires to that one tap and put it in. And my OCD got the better of me. I didn't tap into the wire right here anymore. I ran it through the, I put it down the, I ran it through the grommet onto here and tapped into right here. This is the same red wire running for my let me show you for this you guys can remember i did the video for this real quick remember this yep that was at my warning lights so those warning light wires right here i tapped into it right here that runs up to this seat heater fuse right here which is a permanent connection so what happens is as i as i predicted before the ground is on this wire right here that dims down so once you shut the doors that's con that controls the ground for the courtesy light so the power for the courtesy light so what happens is once there's no power in that wire anymore it just cuts the ground so it's better than running it all the way up top you know on the overhead so it is what it is now so all i gotta do is go on the other side I'm just gonna have to fish this long this long set of wires right here. That is for the passenger side. So what I'll be doing is I'll be fishing it over to the other side and the red wire, I already have a red wire like this on the other side, which is connected to the same adder fuse right here. So there's two power wires, these two, two red power wires, one on this side and then one on the other side. I'm just gonna tap this new red wire for the PUD lights into that one, and the ground is already ran. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Freaking dope, man. All right, peeps, so I'm gonna unlock the car, watch what happens. There you go. Guys, if you see it flickering, it is not the light, that's just the shutter on the camera. Now, once I lock it, it's gonna dim down with the inside lights. There you go, so it works. Now, let's unlock this real quick. So now, I put everything back together, as I told you before. As I told you before, this red wire right here, this is one of two of the power wires so there's another one on the passenger side that goes to that seat heater 
add a fuse, okay? So that is why you see me right here tap into that power wire, okay? So obviously, because obviously <laughs> there's already an add a fuse in there, duh. So now this other red wire for the passenger side puddle light, I just have to fish it over to the passenger side and the ground wire for the passenger side, look, it's already connected as I told you. See it right here? It's already connected up there. It's already tapped in there. So I just gotta fish that over and, you know, take out the door card and whatnot and could hook it up. All right, so I'll just time lapse that. I just wanted to show you what was going on on this side, okay? Everything is buttoned up. Let's test this bad boy to see if it works. Yup, as soon as I come near it, look at that. Right on the ground, man. That is so awesome. Let's check the other side. Yup. Beautiful light, man. It's so good too. And then once it times out, see it's working just in sync with the inside as well. As you know what to do, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think, man. Such a dope mod. It's just a, you know, it could be a pain in the ass to install because you gotta go through a whole bunch of steps. Ooh, there it goes. Nice fade. Ooh, as soon as it senses the key, man, it comes on. It works really, really well. I love it. It's a small, but really, really cool mod. I really like it. And it doesn't cost that much either. And not much, not many places have it. You know what I mean? I got it from Subi Speed. I really don't buy a lot of stuff from them, but it worked out. As soon as I get near the proximity of the car, oop, there it goes. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. All right, guys, you know what to do. Again, like, subscribe, comment. And I really hope uh, you guys enjoy this little walkthrough with me. Take care.